so you guys can see that. Mole mass conversions is not really changing the process. The only thing is that we're not using Avogadro's number. Now what we're seeing is that one mole of something is the atomic mass of that substance, or the molar mass. So I'm just going to put off to the side. This is the symbol that I use to represent molar mass. And you guys might see that show up in your um, help sheets and things like that. I'll put MM. That's what I'm talking about, molar mass. So remember, the way that we did that practice was you looked at your periodic table, you added together atomic masses if you had a compound, right? And that represents one mole, okay? One mole, sorry. <laughs> so um, remember, we're still going to be doing underline your given, circle what you want. Okay, so looking at example three, we have what is the mass of a piece of aluminum that contains 0.5 moles of aluminum? So I'm going to go ahead and underline what's given to me, which tends to be the number. So I'm going to go ahead and underline that word. And then remember, start to get in the habit of also adding in the label, but we'll, we'll settle for this for now. So 0.5 moles is what we're given. What are we asked for? What is the mass? So I'm going to circle the word mass. What is the unit of mass that we've gotten to see? What is the unit for mass? Grams. Grams. Thank you. Okay, so a G. So we want to end with a G on top, right? So we're going to go ahead and take what we're given. That always goes into that first spot. Okay. Oh, sorry. There you go. So we're going to have 0 0.5 moles. We know that we can always put it over the number one just to kind of put something there, right? Okay, so... Your next step is taking that word, and do we take it over to the right or down to the right? Down to the right, because ultimately we want one on top, one on bottom. So we're just going to take whatever word we have. We're always going to swing it down to the right. And that is something you can definitely memorize in your steps for all of our dimensional analysis stuff. Take that word, bring it down to the right. It'll work, okay? So once I brought that word down to the right, I'm going to go look at my conversion. This is my conversion vector. One mole of something is the atomic mass of the substance. All right, so what number am I going to put down here? One. The one, exactly. One mole, right? He's getting it from right here. One mole, and that's equal to the atomic mass of the substance. All right, so what is our substance that we're paying attention to? What is our substance? Aluminum. So what number am I going to put at the top? Or where should I be looking for what number I'm going to put at the top? That's your atomic mass. So what's the number that we're going to put at the top? Exactly. 26.982. Okay. So for now, this is just one element. So that's cool. It worked out nice. And we're going to put grams. So we have what we want on top. Moles got canceled out, so we're in a good spot. So this is another example where we only have ones on the bottom. I know it's kind of annoying, um, but make sure you're still running through that process of how you're going to be typing it in the calculator because it's not always going to be ones on the bottom, okay? But for this one, what I would do when I type it in, I'm going to type in 0 0.5. I'm going to say times 26.982 equals, and then I'm going to immediately push divide, 1, divide, 1, and then push equals again. So once again, what I'm doing here is I am not using parentheses. If you want to use parentheses, go for it, okay? Because you can ultimately just do everything across the top is multiplied, everything across the bottom is multiplied, and they're divided, right? What I'm doing is what you can do actually in your phone calculator, because that's usually how I key a lot of your guys' homeworks and things like that, okay? is you just take that number, multiply, push equals, push divide, and then everybody across the bottom is divided. Okay? Um, all right, so when I type that in, or when you guys typed it in, I haven't done it yet. So, 13, yeah, 13.491 was what shows up on my calculator. So if you remember kind of what I said yesterday, you can always go back to the problem and see what did it take it to. It took it to that first decimal place, so you, you're allowed to kind of chop this guy to the first decimal place, okay? 
Again, it's really based off of significant figures, but we are not dealing with that in this little part. So you can also always go to the second. All right, so 13.5, and then I'm going to put grams of aluminum because you don't want anybody to think you're talking about elephants because that would be very morbid. All right, so the next one, or actually, do you guys have any questions for me over your setup? No, we're all good? Okay. Okay, then let's look at the next one. So the next one says, what are the moles? Okay, so how many moles of magnesium are in 0 0.8 grams of magnesium? So what I'm going to have us do, because we already have this value technically in our notes in our journal, I'm going to change this to instead of magnesium, let's go ahead and make it magnesium oxide because we need to see an example of a compound. So magnesium oxide, that's a plus 2, minus 2, so it's just going to be MgO. Okay, so MgO. So 0 0.8 grams of magnesium oxide. I want to know how many moles of magnesium oxide that is. Okay. All right. So just like before, we're going to start with that 0 0.8. But this time it's grams of magnesium oxide. We know that we can always throw that over the number one. Okay, what, what, what would be your next step? What would you bring down to the right? Grams or moles? Grams, exactly. We have grams here. We need it to cancel out because we want to get to moles, right? So we're going to take grams down to the right. And we're going to put moles on top. All right, so now we have mole gram relationship. That conversion is exactly what it says up here. One mole is the atomic mass of the substance. All right, so where does the one go this time? Is it on the bottom or is it on the top? The top, exactly. Put it with the word, right? One mole is the atomic mass. So um, you can look in your notes if you want from the other day. You guys had magnesium oxide? Or I'll just put it up here. Here you go. All right, this is the one where we had to calculate magnesium oxide, right? So it is 40.304. So do you see the extra step that you're going to have to take if you have a compound? What do you have to do? you got to figure out your molar mass first, right? you got to figure out your molar mass first. So this one we already had, which is nice, so 40.304. I'm going to go ahead and write this out to the side. That molar mass was equal to... 40.304, meaning I first had to solve for that. You have to know what your molar mass is first, right? So now that we have that, now we can go ahead and put that number in because the definition of molar mass is one mole of something is its atomic masses. Okay, so now I have this. So when I personally am going to type this into my calculator, I'm going to go 0 0.8 times 1, I'm going to push equals, and then I'm going to immediately push the divide, 1 divide 40.304, push equals, and you will get your answer. Okay? Use your notes time to really establish how you are going to be typing into your calculator. Again, don't let that be the thing that messes you up. Okay? So... I'll go ahead and type in exactly what I just put up there. That way you can see what it looks like. Let me scoot my camera back. Hold on. All right. There we go. So I have 0 0.8 times 1, push equals, divided by 1, divided by 40.304. And I get the answer of 0 0.019849, right? Okay, so, okay. Are there any questions? How did I do that? Um, I just took my, okay, so this is the number. I rounded it up because there was a 9 behind it. That's all I did. Yes. Yeah. 
Nothing special. Yeah. All right. Um, so you guys technically have eight minutes right now. Can you please do example number five? I'm not going to start it for you. I'm going to have you guys figure it out. Set it up correctly. Figure out what you're starting with, what you're ending with. It's one of these two setups technically. Um, okay, there's the answer. I will walk you through what I did. Sorry, I can't be covering up the microphone right there. Okay, so I started with what I was, I underlined what I was given. I circled what I want. So I start with what I'm given, 0 0.8 moles. I automatically put that over a 1. I did times in a line. I brought that, not the number, but the word mole came down to the right, right? So I did that first. Then I took a step back and I said, okay, I know that I need to get to grams. So I put grams on top and I said, okay, what's the conversion between moles and grams? Straight from the notes, one mole of something is the atomic mass in grams. Every single time, whether it's on top or bottom, it just depends where the words are, right? So. I brought moles down to the right, which told me it was one on the bottom. The molar mass of gold went on top from the periodic table. And then when I typed it in, I did 0.8 times that, push equals, divide by one, divide by one, push equals, and you get your answer. I went ahead and rounded to that first decimal place, like I kind of said earlier. So here's the number that I had. I checked the one behind it. It rounded up, so I had 157.6 grams. Okay. How'd that go? It went well. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording.